Okay, in the last video we did a review of long division and we did that so that we can now apply it when we're doing long division of polynomials. So because we are dividing by something other than a monomial, we have to do long division. So let me set this up using the long division notation. We always put the dividend inside the house top, so that will be x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then the bottom, or the, div the denominator, is the divisor. So that's what goes on the outside, x plus 3. Now we have it set up, so we can start in. Now just like we did when we used plain numbers, we always use our first numbers, or our first items, to give us a good estimate of, of our, our, our answer. So x, what do you have to multiply to x to get x squared? Well x times x would be x squared. So let's put that up on top, just like we put the 5 up on top when we did the division a while ago. Now notice that I put it on top of the x's. In long division, it's very important to keep everything lined up, and it's actually even easier to line things up than it was with plain old long division, because we have our x squared column here, then we have our x column, which is right here, and then we have our plain numbers column. So we have to keep things lined up in their proper column. Okay, once we put our number up here, we multiply diagonally, now, if you need to come out to the side and say, what is, oh, let me do that in blue there, what is x times x plus 3? That way you can see that distribution has to happen. So x times x would be x squared, and x times a positive 3 would be plus 3x. Okay, now at this point in our long division, we had to subtract but it's much more difficult to subtract with polynomials. It's easier to change the signs and then combine your like terms. So x squared minus x squared is gone, and now we have a positive 4x minus 3x, which is a positive x. Then just like in regular division, we now draw up our next term and continue on. So x times what would give you x? Well, that has to be a positive 1 and then we multiply diagonally. So this is going to be oops, 1 times x plus 3. So when we do our distribution, 1 times x is x, and 1 times a positive 3 is a positive 3. Now instead of subtracting, we're going to change our signs and combine. So x minus x is nothing. Positive 3 and negative 3, those cancel out. So we have a zero remainder. Our answer then is right here. That's our quotient or our answer. So the answer would be x plus 1. 